That was a very big achievement for these eight parties, and the ink is drying on that agreement as we speak. But Benjamin Netanyahu will be doing everything he can still to pull apart that very fragile coalition. So the first challenge they'll have is to resist that pressure. And it won't just be coming from him, it'll be coming from plenty of supporters of his and of Naftali Bennett's on the right. He also said that he wouldn't sit with left-wing parties and he wouldn't sit with Yesh Atid or with Arab parties. Now, he's broken a lot of those promises in putting together this coalition, but he's hoping that the fact that he's kept one promise will stand him in good stead, and that is that he didn't want the country to have to go to fifth elections in such a short time. But this is definitely a coalition with challenges from the very beginning. But has this coalition given any details of what it stands for? We know, of course, they're all against Benjamin Netanyahu, but beyond that, what, are they, what does it want to do? Well, each of the players in the coalition have an agenda of their own, and there'll be things that each one of them wants to pursue. So, of course, there are issues they'll be discussing, but the real doubt is whether or not they'll get anywhere near making any of the laws needed or actually any of the reforms they want to make. Uh, that's because the government simply may not last very long. Benjamin Netanyahu will be hoping it doesn't last long enough to even start governing, and he's trying to pick it apart already in the next 12 days, which will be critical. But those parties don't agree on certain key issues. So if people, for example, were hoping to see a change or a shift in Israel's opinions and positions on the Palestinian issue, it seems incredibly unlikely that that can happen. With Naftali Bennett on the one hand as prime minister in the first place, despite his small number of mandates, he's further right than Benjamin Netanyahu and has been critical of Netanyahu's government in terms of its attitude towards the Palestinians. And then, on the other hand, there are left-wing members of the parties, uh, of the coalition. Um, this coalition spans the far left to the far right with a large centrist bloc and even includes, critically, an Arab party for the first time in Israel's history. So, for those who've said that Israel is an apartheid state, at least some are pointing to that and saying, what kind of apartheid state manages to have an Arab party holding a, a very important place in this coalition?